All right, here we go. So this is TSTL's season something, 11? I want to say 11. Uh, this is a round of 32. We've got Jaden Nelson and Vice Lord. So let us get started. We're on boat map. I think something went wrong when we were trying to host it before, so now we're here. Uh, all right, that is an interesting box from Vice Lord. That is like almost full strat and both the new units in there. Grinchiel, well known to be good. Joe and Connie, I don't know. I, I don't know what these two do. They'll do something, but I don't even know what faction they are. I'll be honest. Are they strat? Maybe. Are they empire? Potentially. They're in Vice Lord's box and Vice Lord is like the empire guy. So, they probably are Empire or Strat. <laughs> Although there's also a Michelle here, and I know that's not Empire or Strat. Uh, we do have a Grin Shield over here. First band Grin Shield. That's no fun. So yeah, Vice Lord playing pretty heavily AoE. Goes for the first band Rosin. Makes a lot of sense. Jaden is... Pretty much just your standard single target rush. Um, potentially gonna have some issues with this Vargas and Hilda though. Uh, with the Zerida, that's actually not a free Zerida bust. Rosin first pick also. The only thing sus about this Rosin first pick is you don't have three good tanks. Yep, there go the two good tanks. You have Burnheart. Burnheart with Rosin. I wonder if that wall is Zerida. Um, 25% physical reduction. The stat reduction. Werewolves. You probably... You, you definitely could wall some Zeridas. If you're going to wall Stinger Zerida, I'm not sure. I guess you have a really good chance to just dispel her attack buff when she goes in. If you get the attack buff off of the Zerida as she engages onto a tank burn, then yeah, Zerida's just going to bounce. So yeah, Vice Lord recognizing that, the, uh, that he had set himself up. I should say they, that they had set themselves up to get their tanks banned out, does go ahead and ban mages as possible. There's a Wedum pick. Uh, I think that Wedum pick's actually kind of bad. It combos well with the Zerida, but both of these units should actually struggle to get through a Burnheart. Goodbye, Grinchiel. We'll see you maybe next game. So one of the benefits that Grinchiel would have had this game is the um, both her talent and the shield that she drops give a mobility reduction aura, which cannot be immune by Rosin. So you can actually relatively reliably turn off guard by just dropping a shield next to it. Now you have to drop the shield on empty tile. You can't drop it on top of the tank, right? Zilong did realize that would be a little bit toxic. Um, but it does force your opponent to basically stay completely clumped around their tank anytime Grand Shield's close, uh, or else they run the risk of just losing guard and then units dropping left and right. Kyra pick here. It's okay. It forces GI on the burn heart instead of werewolves, but other than that, it's not really that r great, uh... I can probably pick. I can probably pick this, right? It's not going to get through the burn heart, uh, but it's not really trying to get through the burn heart. I guess should maybe be able to get through that. I'm actually not confident on that. Kyra is just one of those units that sometimes you think she'll do well and then she just doesn't do anything ever. Uh, D heart can kill this for certain. That I am confident on. What else have we got here? 
Yep, leaving up the Poil and Sissy last because you already have the Rosin from first pick, so those two units are useless. So that's nice. Um, the only issue is Sissy actually walls the Leon. Right, Leon can essentially never engage if Sissy Merc is up. Actually, Poil walls the Leon as well if she just brings like Lance, if she brings Phalanxes and Lance Phalanx. So this Leon pick actually accomplishes very little. But at the same time, I can understand Vice Lord not wanting to pick up an AoE unit into this Kyra. Right, that's also rough. There's the sissy. Yeah, sissy makes more sense than the poil here, just more utility. And again, Merc completely walls Leon. Right, like Leon could probably kill the Merc, but he doesn't want to. That's what I mean when I'm saying that Merc walls Leon is yes, you can go in and like chivalry and 3C elite mercenary and it sh will probably die, I think. Um, but then your Leon is dead and you've killed a mercenary. That's not a good trade. Uh, we don't get the Ares pickup. It's interesting. It's... It's not great here. Act again might just be better, especially because you can spam this act again, thanks to Empire buff. Um, but it's really, it feels like a lot of this game is going to be on this Iron Blood. The problem is Iron Blood is very susceptible to just dying to D-Heart. Right, D-Heart has people that he wants to put his buff on too, so he'll get the troop ignore, or he'll get the class type ignore even if you go for Amazons here. Um, and even with defense stance, I feel like that should just kind of kill the iron blood. Right, unless something weird happens, like, you know, you bring Rosin faction buff and dispel his attack buff, or if he doesn't crit you or something, something bizarre like that would kind of have to happen for this iron blood to survive D-Heart, I feel like. We shall see. Alrighty, gargoyles on the ham because this map is cancer for uh, ground troops. Actually, does not bring guardian infantry. Does bring werewolves. It isn't a holy Kyra, so you don't get completely punished for this. Um. But you still might get punished, honestly. Right? These still don't take the magic damage hurdle. That's 16k HP on this burn heart, by the way. 17k. That's a lot. There's that faction buff. Hmm. With that much HP and Assassin Kyra, I wonder. Especially Assassin Kyra with Sorks, this is th this is the risky setup, right? This is the setup that doesn't crit like half the time. And if you don't crit, then you're just not doing very much at all. There's Unicorns on the Iron Blood. Unicorns nice for traversing terrain, but definitely not nice for living D-Heart. <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of pressure onto this Iron Blood to actually do the damage. But I don't think she's going to be able to live to do that. Um, and Lancer Merc is up, so Leon is not a unit anymore. This feels rough for Vice Lord. Especially, like, you know, once Kyra picks the Leon and D-Heart picks the Iron Blood. Yes, these two can't get through burn very fast, but they kind of, they have a long time to do it. 
I mean, burn still does a lot of damage, make no mistake. Even, even tank burn, right? Tank burn can still just smack people real hard. The issue is that, you know, he smacks one person a turn. Hey, Straw. Welcome in everyone from your game. We're just getting started on game one here, Jaden and Vice Lord. And if you've been here before, I probably sound a little bit off. Uh, I am a little bit sick, so my voice is a little bit whack, but we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. All right. So what do we got going on here? I always sound like this. Damn. <laughs> uh. I don't sound like this to me. So yeah, I feel like Jaden has the favored comp here. Um, right, Vice Lord's really heavily dependent on this Iron Blood, but it just feels a little bit too easy to remove with the D Heart sitting over here. Right, Kyra probably doesn't do too favorably into this Iron Blood. But then Kyra's good against the Leon. Uh, so it feels like these two units will go down pretty quickly without getting much accomplished, and then everyone gets to just beat on Burnheart until he eventually dies. But who knows, maybe, you know, 17k HP, 1200 defense burn just walls forever. Right, it is Air Slash on the Wedum. So you're not going to get those Dispels. You'll get the Dispels off of the Zerida, I suppose. Air Slash on Zeri as well. It is a Stinger Zeri. So, you know, you don't get all of this 1200 defense. Jaden starting out just a little bit slow here, which is fine. They have the mobility advantage pretty heavily. Right. Lancer Merc on the field means that Leon doesn't exist, so it, again, it's it's just this Iron Blood. This is the only unit on Vice Lord's team for a while, basically. Uh, so as long as you're not in Iron Blood range, nothing matters. Right, you can position, as long as Mercenary is nearby, you can position pretty aggressively as Jaden. Right, with this Kyra on D-Heart. Uh, by hoping it doesn't kill, Pete. By hoping it doesn't kill, or letting it kill, and then trading back. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of rough. Um... I don't think this Kyra will actually kill the Bernhardt. Uh, so that's a way that Vice Lord can deal with her, is if she targets the Bernhardt and fails. But it should be a free pick into Leon. It might be a free pick into Iron Blood. I, I'm not as confident on this one. It's probably free into Iron Blood, though, let's be honest. It, the one thing to keep in mind, though, is it is Assassin Sorks Kyra, so she has, like, a 60% chance to crit. And that is relevant, that she does not have a great chance to crit. Uh, again, it's... I'd be surprised if non-crit failed to kill Leon still. But, like, these definitely would not die if you missed the crit. Um... It is Twilight Star, I think. I've been jabated before, but we saw... I Yes, I saw a green attack before the attack buff went down, so this is Twilight Star. Um, so, like, this is def... No, this is not safe, because it's not Swordsmith. And this is not safe. Uh, I guess this could be Heart of Redemption, and then it would be safe. Very nice, man.
yeah, so Jaden just kind of needs to push the advantage that they have off of this Kyra, off of this D-Heart, and make sure they don't accidentally let Leon become a relevant unit by moving outside of guard range and letting him get a free pick. As long as you don't do that, you should be pretty okay. The one thing to watch out for is like Iron Blood moving up and then act again Iron Blood, especially with this D Heart moving early. Because um, you really don't want to let this Iron Blood get a trade in. Right? Because in theory, you should be able to kill this Iron Blood for free. So this goes from being a free kill to a one for one or worse. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad for Jaden. Uh, so yeah, you do have to be careful around this act again, but it should be very possible for Jaden to just take over this game. It is boost instead of jump on the Wedum, so you can't try to exploit any early Bernhardt moves. I guess he's not in range to get hit by the sword anyways. And there's crystal healing, so you can't jump anyways. Yeah, boost makes sense then. You're basically never jumping. Uh, <laughs> both, Pete. Burn has to have his faction buff because that's how he gets his damage reduction. Oh, this is not the play. Oh no. All right, Kyra. Yep. Oh, it's still killed. Okay. It's still killed. Then that's just game over. So she actually, what happened there? She missed crit on werewolves and then crit Bernhardt, I believe. Yeah, the uh, Rosin buff had not gone up yet. That was definitely a risky play by Jaden. It actually, it almost didn't work out, but some crits came in where they needed to, to make it work. Um, that was also a very unnecessary play, I would say. Because you can... This isn't really being threatened. Eh, it's kind of being threatened. Like, you could potentially have pushed the Lancer Merc first and then gone in. I guess you're expecting to just die to Iron Blood. But you can force the Iron Blood counter engage instead of the Leon counter engage if you push the Merc uh, before doing this jump. But, you know, you killed the burn, so it works out. End of the day. Works out. I am su- I'm kind of surprised that that actually managed to kill. Again, it was some some crit luck coming in. Um, if that was GI burn, then he's never dead there, right? GI burn is much nicer for tanking this game. I think Vice Lord wanted the werewolf so because there was a very realistic scenario where Everyone but Burn is dead, and Burn has, or like, you know, both of these units, right? I say everyone, I mean all the DPS are dead, and Burn has to just kind of win the game uh, by just punching things over and over again with healers behind him. Um, so that's where, like, GI would be horrible if you were in that kind of a scenario. But. Werewolves do make you a lot weaker against the Kyra, and that's not even a Holy Kyra, right? Holy Kyra and you just remove that burn from existence. No questions asked. Goodbye, Leon. Yeah, that's kind of... Kind of how that draft was set up, basically. Right, the way, the only realistic way for Vice Lord to come out on top there is if the Kyra does fail that kill. Which again, it was close, like, it, it, it wasn't a free kill. Um, yeah, so that, we'll see what kind of adjustments get made by Vice Lord to kind of address that fact. Right, last game they prioritized this Rosin first pick and lost 
Hilda, who would have been much better, and then lost Vargas, who would not have been much better. Um, so potentially you could prioritize the Hilda pick. Uh, or you can just ban the Kyra, right? But I believe the Kyra was picked after Lucretia Ironblood were banned, and there's really... Realistically, there's no way that you ban the Kyra over these two. So it's very likely that if you're going to try and play this Bernhardt game again, you're going to have to match up into the Kyra again. Uh, so at that point, it just becomes a troop thing, right? Werewolves, you know, I can understand why you went werewolves. It's just that they were a little bit greedy in the face of Kyra. Uh, and you got punished for that. But then, you know, do GI actually win the game, right? That's the other question. That's a Silvaria, by the way. Um, is that a Kyra counter? No, right? Because you have 10 range with the bow, which is the same as Kyra. Uh, but you're active every other turn and Kyra's active every turn. It's a cool unit. I, I'll give you that. Silvaria is cool. <laughs> um, definitely not a Kyra counter, though. Definitely not. Is this... This isn't unit range up. It's skill range up. Or something like that, right? Because you can't basic attack at range. It's like when using a skill unit range plus 7 is how this is actually worded. So you don't even get to counterattack the Kyra, I believe. Goodbye, lost him. This is the lost him map where you just get to cheese people on turn one. It's also the Leon map where you get to do that, but with Leon. So we could see it's still going to be the Rosin ban. Vice Lord still kind of can't really afford to play against a Rosin with this box. Low tear first. Okay a threat right you have the turn priority this time whereas my sword was player two last time there is still the kyra who's okay at handling clotair um sissy's not great but you know it's healing right if you're gonna try and react to the clotair it'd be one of these two but i imagine Jaden probably just like picks up the wedum or picks up the zerida here Now last game, Jaden banned both tanks second because of the first pick of Rosin. I'm interested to see how we change this time because now there's not as much pressure to like remove healing or remove tanks. So you can kind of get rid of some damage if you're scared of anything in particular. Or you could, you know, remove healing, remove magic guard, right? Remove magic guard, pick Lucretia. Not great against this though, right? I mean, you could, like, remove Magic Guard, pick Magic Damage kind of thing. Nope, just gonna remove the Mech Knights. Fair. Honestly. Fair. And it is gonna be Kyra to kind of respond to this. Right, so Kyra herself gets healed up, and then one person gets healed up after the AoE. Uh, you still take the fixed damage after the heal. Yeah, that should be true. Yeah, you take the fixed damage after the heal, so you're not going to be at 100%. Um, and you're only helping out one person, right? Not the entire team. But then you can run in, click 3C, jump back, heal a bunch more, dispel as much as you can. Uh, you can't dispel the fixed damage, obviously, but you can dispel the um, revive block. And I believe the fixed... I believe Clotaire has a fixed damage taken increase, but it's also dispellable. So you can get rid of some of that and kind of get everything healed back off. A pretty good response to the Clotaire overall. Let's see what Vice Lord has for us. Grand would be cool to see. Leonhart just doubling down on the AoE. Doubling down on the AoE in the face of Kyra is always rough. Especially because Kyra can just like, you know, Jaden here can bop the magic guard and then you get to bring a second healing skill on Kyra. 
and then you can't even try to like exploit the fact that Kyra only is only healing herself and one other person after that first skill is used. So yeah, there goes the magic guards. We will be in that scenario. Uh, Gintoki versus AoE makes sense, right? You get to just, you know, he gets pissed off immediately, right? Gives him a lot of damage reduction, a uh, lot of damage output, kind of running down these AoE units. Vargas is obviously not going to be the greatest at tanking Gintoki either. Although Vargas does have access to zombies, which do a very good job of walling things out. There's the grin. Yeah, I didn't expect the Vargas pick. Right. Definitely just want to keep the aggression going for Vice Lord. Grend now gives you a way to also just pick off this Kyra before you start launching these AoEs. Uh, if you can get if you can get Grin into range, then you can just get rid of the Kyra quickly. McLean would have been a way to get into range without getting killed for it. Uh-oh. Lost him. Third pick. Yikes. Lostum is here to do Lostum things, and that is terrifying. Um, I wonder how good these two are. Okay, well. Uh, that's a faction buff for no one, because Gren buffs these two already. It is healing, but you're not living any of these hits. I don't know about this. I guess you can actually go Iron Fist on Gren. That is an option. But I don't think Jaden was banning this Rosin. I think you actually could have just held on to this and picked it. I, I think you would have gotten Rosin low last pick. So you could have taken something else for Lost him Stun. That's true. But for Lost him Stun to matter, he has to fail the kill. Which would be... Surprising. Right, stun only matters if the unit lives. I guess he doesn't actually have a faction buff. Although a Lightbringer pick up here into Gospel or Strengthen solves that pretty easily. Um, so he should, he should have an attack buff going in. He probably can't beat this. Might not be able to beat this, but these two are definitely killable. This is a question mark. Does Leonhart have Guardian Infantry? I know he has Highlanders. Can't remember if he has Guardian Infantry. Yeah, I mean, the plan for Vice Lord is, is pretty clear cut, right? Get this Gren onto Kyra, kill the Kyra, blow apart this team afterwards. He does have Guardian Infantry, then that should be plenty to wall out lost him. Um, yeah, get get Gren to kill Kyra, right? Disable the guard on Lightbringer with the shield as you do so. Um, and then just AoE, AoE, AoE. Uh, let's see. This can also disable guard somehow. I don't... I don't remember if it's Joa or Connie who has the skill that disables guard. Or that inflicts Moby down. Um, I think it might be Joa. It's so like Joa could turn off the guard and then Connie could go for the kill, but... It's already going to be hard enough to get Gren into Kyra range. There's no way Joe and Connie get there for free. We will see. Also, I think these this unit gets the new Archer troop, which is an insanely strong troop. Um... are going to be using fairies though, so. 
No archers, just fairies. Uh, yes, that's silence, and then Joa has the Moby down. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, if you can get Joa in... And Connie dies, this year dies immediately, okay. What star is this? Uh, that is five star. Oh my god, Quotaire's going in now, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, forget kill Kyra, then AoE, AoE, AoE. We're just gonna AoE, AoE, AoE. It is Balance Blade. There he goes. I mean, that's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage, but the issue is Kyra now gets to click 3C, jump back, and it's all kind of just gone immediately. There's Iron Fist. This is 4 star. Right, none of this can follow up on this damage either. It's like, you get this damage, that's cool, but your Clotaire is dead. All this damage, not all of it, but a lot of it goes away after your Clotaire dies. Well, Sorks actually, maybe your Clotaire's not dead. Sorks are actually a bit of a misplay here. Because you're never going to be at 100% HP this game. Right, so this is where Faceless would probably be a bit better. Um... If there was one more unit that could engage right now, this would be really nice. Right. Because really, Jaden needs to click this Lightbringer buff first. To amp up the Kyra damage, right? Amp up the Kyra damage, amp up the Kyra healing. Right, you really want this buff out first. Um, but just gonna go for it. This shouldn't kill without the buff. Yeah. That was Sork's crit, by the way. Very cool, Kyra. Thank you. So yeah, there we go. A lot of that damage gone now. All your hard work. So Clotaire's still alive. Oh, that's right, this Kyra isn't holy. God, I'm just so used to holy Kyra, because it's so much better. <laughs> I'm being honest, it's so much better. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So, Glotera is still alive. You can air slash it with Zerida. You do get counterattacked for it, because of the this. Right, so you would get counterattacked. No, you don't have Shattering Flame anymore. You don't get counterattacked. God, this is such a bad effect. <laughs> what an awful effect. Just doesn't do anything. Okay. Never mind then. So yeah, Air Slash is free to just kill this. Um, as long as it doesn't like open you up to getting smashed by Joa and Connie, but there's no way that there's enough AoE damage to actually threaten the Zerida. And then it just kind of ends up being a 0 for 1 trade for Vice Lord. I don't know if you could have avoided doing this though, just because this lost him is here. Oh, that's interesting. Um, because this lost him exists, right, there's so much pressure on Vice Lord to kind of get in there and make something happen. Uh, because if you give this lost him, like, two turns, then you can just pick any unit on the map. It's like if you were trying to play for Grin, killing Kyra, well, that doesn't work if Lostum just, you know, starts from here and then picks off your Grin. <laughs> right, from the other side of the screen. Um, so it was kind of, you were kind of forced into this... into this play as Vice Lord. Uh, that doesn't make it feel good. <laughs> That doesn't make it a, a, a nice play to have made. This is a squishy grin. I'm as well, mm, 1677. This is actually probably Overlord badge. 13.8k HP. Yeah, this is almost certainly Overlord badge. So the 811 defense makes a little more sense. 
swordsmith grind, you'd be more used to seeing like 15 something, 1500, 1550, and then like a thousand defense. Uh, if it's kind of a bulky swordsmith grin, it'd have a little bit less HP as well. Gintoki? Yes. Alright, well, this guy's dead. Gintoki no longer taking fixed damage. Plenty of HP. You know, fully pissed off because of. Well, yeah, we the whole team. Uh. Wow, this unit just feels awful, doesn't it? Well, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Yeah, this unit just feels awful. <laughs> I think this unit really needed some sort of uh, movement boost. Did not feel horrid. Right, like a Caroline style, give myself plus two movement, or uh, you know, a chivalry style skill. Cause just like a five range a five move archer, even with the four range skills, is just so hard to actually do much with. Yeah, the new Falcon unit's pretty cool. It's also insanely strong. It's just like the highest stats of any flyer unit. Period. Same thing with the new archer unit, it's just the highest stats of any archer or assassin. And it has a defense ignore. Both of the new troops are insane on anyone that can use them. Alright, Joe is going in. Nothing on this team can touch this man. Right, as long as he's at 100% HP, he's untargetable. Oh, we're firing on Gintoki. Okay, well, that did something. It does reduce range, which is always a fun effect. Uh, this honestly might not kill, even with the archers, just because it's rights and um, forest. Nope, goodbye. That wasn't even close. I was completely wrong. Damn, that was half HP archers as well. Just disappeared. That is a thousand defense. So you're not dead to the Zerida, for certain. That being said, Zerida can just take your buffs here. Zerida will just take your buffs here. So you're not dead, but you're gonna lose your attack buff. You're gonna probably lose, you know, this sword's breath. Yeah, it's all gone. It's all gone. And now this just isn't gonna do meaningful damage next turn. Apparently not dead as well. City wall saving there. So you can do your AoEs, but if you AoE the Kyra, you're probably just going to end up doing negative damage overall. This is looking kind of doomed for Vice Lord. It has to be Leon Hart move. Right, like, Joe and Connie are in range to kind of do some things. To make some attacks. But it has to be Leon Hart move. Ah, I'm just hitting the Kyra here. Just feels so bad. Right, you're just not getting any meaningful progress here because, you know, you have to hit the Kyra to, like, hit things, basically, right? You don't really want to just be AoEing these two units. You won't get any progress doing that. But also, this Kyra started at, like, 60% HP. Trying to stun the Kyra because what else are you gonna do? Kyra just ends her turn. Doesn't even feel the need to click the skill to heal up. Just ends turn, and there we go. Yeah, uh, it's rough. Full AOE comp into Rosin and Kyra is just a nightmare scenario for Vice Lord. Right? What do you do there? 
Especially when there's assassins to keep you from actually being able to zone at all, right? You just get zoned out by the assassins, and if you ever go in, then Kyra invalidates your entire team. Rough. Right, you basically just have to have uh, heal blocks there. Right, you have to be able to heal block things to, uh, to stop Kyra from just making everyone useless. There we go. So that will be 2-0 for Jaden Nelson. They will be moving on to the round of 16. So congratulations to them. And I will see you guys later. Bye.